today we are looking at Westover. Westover or Westover Village is located just north of I-66, south of 16th Street and bounded by North Jefferson Street on the east and North McKinley Street on the west. Westover was established in 1940. The neighborhood is special because it is truly an urban village inside a suburban part of Arlington. The neighborhood is made up of mostly colonial style houses built on modest sized lots. For the most part, homes in Westover won't astonish you with their size or contemporary look. However, there are a few exceptions. Westover is home to Virginia's first ever platinum certified lead house. To give you an idea, heating and cooling costs for the 3,800 square foot house per year estimate around $305. Again, 3,800 square feet per year heating and cooling is 300 bucks. The house recently sold for $1.37 million. The center of Westover is located along Washington Boulevard and is your one-stop shop for all your dining and shopping needs. The Westover Shopping Center was built in 1940 and is home to such businesses like Westover Market, Toby's Ice Cream, and Ayers Hardware. Ayers has actually been in business since 1947 and is a staple amongst the community. If you ask people in Arlington and in Westover about Ayers, they will likely have a story that goes along with it. Well, here's mine. I knew Ayers was a special place from a very young age. You see, when I was a child, Ayers is where I went to see Santa Claus. Yeah, that's right. Out of all the places in the world, Santa Claus came to Ayers Hardware Store in Westover to sit and listen to what I wanted for Christmas. So that's how I knew Ayers was a special place. Now, looking at inventory other than single-family houses in Westover, there are a few duplexes. There's a new townhouse community that we'll touch on here in a minute and there are a few notable apartment complexes. These complexes are Ashton House, Westover Hills, Connor Properties, and Westover Apartments. All these buildings were built between 1940 and 1943. Westover Apartments is by far the largest of the communities. It has 153 units. It is built on seven acres of land, and it was recently renovated in 2010. Okay, let's take a look at the top three things you need to know about living in Westover. Number one, the farmer's market. Guys, during the summer, the farmer's market on McKinley and Washington Boulevard is amazing. So many great vendors come out from the farms from Virginia, Maryland, and all across the area to showcase their fruit, produce, breads, pies, you name it, all at a great price. So go out, support a local vendor, but don't eat too many donuts. It is summer after all. Number two is new development. If you look around Westover starting in the shopping center and branching outward, you don't see a lot of new businesses or new buildings, but I can assure you this will be changing. Coming in late 2014 will be the Italian store. It's going to replace the 7-Eleven, which had been there since the 1970s, but I can assure you this is an upgrade. Some may say that construction is taking a little bit too long or that you can't park in the ginormous parking lot that they have, but out of all businesses that come to the Westover Shopping Center, that come to your neighborhood, you get the Italian store, this will be a fantastic addition to the neighborhood. Looking at new residential development, there will be a new townhouse community coming very shortly. Westover Place will feature 20 luxury townhouses. These townhouses will consist of two car garages, an outdoor loft space, and over 2,100 square feet of living space. Prices will start around $850,000 with delivery expected in fall of 2014. Development is slowly making its way to Westover, both commercially and residentially. So be on the lookout in the near future for new communities popping up around you. Number three is character. Look around Arlington. At places people go to eat, hang out, and socialize. Places like Clarendon, like Boston, like Roslyn, yes Roslyn, and like Shirlington. All these places and storefronts, they're, they're bland. There's, there's no history behind the walls. It's mixed use facilities, it's retail on the ground floor and high rise above. It's convenient, but it lacks character. This is where Westover takes over. It's businesses like Lost Dog Cafe, which first opened its doors in 1985 and has since created the Lost Dog and Cat Rescue Foundation, which has helped more than 18,000 cats and dogs find suitable homes. Lost Dog Cafe has since gone on to open up three other restaurants in the area. It's businesses like Lebanese Taverna, which first opened its doors in Westover in 1979 and has now expanded to 10 other locations in the area. And finally, it's businesses like Pete's Barbershop, which has been around since 1968. 14 bucks, they do one thing and they do it really well. Pete recently retired, but the shop is still going strong. It's businesses like these that help build a community, grow a community, and shape a community for the next generation that we'll call Westover home. There you have it, the top three things you need to know about living in Westover. Just to recap, number one, 
the farmer's market. Number two, new development. And number three, character. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, create a productive day. Take care.